waiting for Smash Ultimate to come out felt like waiting for Cars 3 to come out. A long, stressful, and boring ass wait. Sparky, don't you dare! Whoa! Oh. Unlike the tears of sadness I cried when I saw the flashbacks of Doc Hudson before he passed away, those didn't make you cry, you're fucking ice cold. I screamed out of happiness when I received this game and played it immediately. In some ways, it was better than Smash 4, but in some ways, it was worse. Today, we're going to discuss the top five best things about this game, but also the top five worst. It was hard to come up with a worst because this game, like every other Smash Bros game, is legendary. But I still have a few complaints I need to get out, especially number one. It burns. Like, like gonorrhea. gonorrhea. So let's go ahead and get right into the list before we waste any more time. Buckle up, boys. My leather jacket thriller, the show ain't at the miller. Man, I'm a lady killer. If I want her, I'm a stiller. I promise I can make her fly away like caterpillar. So if you don't know by now, then you should probably get familiar. The top five best. Things about Smash Ultimate will be discussed first. Number 5. World of Light In Smash Bros. Brawl, a story mode called the Subspace Emissary was available. In Smash 4, though, this feature was removed. There was no story mode present, and I complained about this in my older video where I discussed the 5 worst things about Smash 4. Now, though, I'm glad to see Ultimate has reintroduced a new story mode. It's called the World of Light, and apparently takes 20 to 35 hours to complete. So unless you're a basement dweller eating nachos every day with three monitors, controllers layered in chicken grease, and Cheeto dust coating the carpet, it'll keep you busy for days if not weeks. Number four, references to past games. Now, I know little slobbering kids shitting in a learn to flush training potty probably don't give a monkey's left nut about this, but anyone old enough to know about the older games and have played them as children will see it and notice it. This game is packed with references to older games. Many of the soundtracks, stages, and skins are throwbacks. A lot of the soundtracks are the original recordings from old games, even the original Smash Bros. 64, which, by the way, has even more stages brought back now and are available in Ultimate. Meta Knight has new skins, where you can play as some of his forms from older Kirby games, namely the Galacta Knight and Dark Meta Knight forms. I know the other Smash games in the series have always included these kinds of references, like the Dreamland, Mario Bros, and Donkey Kong stages, but Ultimate has brought back all those references too, in addition to introducing new ones. That single-handedly makes it a gold mine of ancient shit that deserves to be recognized. Number three, improved graphics. There's not much to say about this because if you have eyes, you can see the improvement. Sure, it isn't as massive as the upgrade from 64 to Melee. That fox still keeps me up at night. But it's there, and it's fire as fuck. fuck. Number two, New characters. There have been plenty of brand new fighters added to the cast, like the Inklings from Splatoon and Incineroar from the latest generation of Pokemon, making the total number greater than 70. I'm gonna have to give this one to Sakurai. I'm very imp- What? This isn't a picture of him? Well, when you Google his name, this is one of the first pictures to come up. It doesn't end there either, because they also brought back formerly removed characters from older smashes such as Pichu from Melee and the Ice Climbers last appearing in Brawl. Even more DLC fighters are coming out too, and so far only one has been revealed. It's Joker from Persona 5, whatever the fuck that is. I'm hoping the remaining fighters end up being good ones, like Bandana D, Raymond, Crash Bandana. Shadow the Hedgehog, or Waluigi. Waluigi, Waluigi, Waluigi. Okay, I already know he's been deconfirmed, but hopefully if there's ever another Smash he'll be involved. Oh. And if Steve from Minecraft or Sans from Undertale end up in the cast, I'm blowing up an orphanage. Now, before we get into the number one spot, I need a drum roll going and some pretty intense music to get everyone into the right vibe, because this one, it's big. It's actually just two of the new characters, but 
They're so amazing, they needed a number one spot to themselves. Here it comes. Number one, the return of Wolf and Snake. Yes, it has happened. In my older video, the removal of these characters was so incredibly disappointing and ended up being my number one complaint about the entire game. Number one, the removal of Wolf and Snake. Wolf was my number one main in Brawl and Snake was my cousins. And of course, of the five characters Nintendo chooses to remove, two of them are Wolf and Snake. I ranted about this for a while, but boys, Wolf and Snake have returned which means me and my cousin's original mains are back on the board. Wolf is here to take the crown, take you down, take your mama to town. He's got a yeast infection because he gets so much bread. Fear him. He's back, motherfuckers. But now it's time to switch gears. We're digging into the dirty diaper now, and the number one spot here is a diaper so full, so incredibly overflowing, sweaty, slimy, smelling like a landfill mixed with the world's biggest orgy and falling on your mom's new white carpet fool. It makes the removal of Wolf and Snake from Smash look like a pebble of chihuahua shit in a park. Before we get there, though, we have to cover the first four complaints, which are mild for the most part but still shit, so... Consider the following. The top five worst things about Smash Ultimate are... Number five, Black Olimar is still gone. I'm not gonna say Nintendo was racist. I'm not the fucking PC police, and I know this for a fact, because they hate my meme page. They got mad at me for posting a meme about the Black Death which happened in the 1300s, so if they're offended by that, they honestly need to suck it up like a man sucking sperm at another man's ass with a straw. There's actually a word for this, it's called felching, but moving on. Black Olimar, right. Nintendo has several black skins now, including Pit, Villagers, and Inklings, but where the fuck is my boy? Black Olimar. He was present in Brawl and still hasn't returned. And I don't know about you, but he was glorious. I know Alf takes up four of his damn skins, but Olimar could have still had three white ones and a remaining space for the black one. Jesus. Number four, the Inkling is OP. I was planning on maining the Inkling as soon as it was revealed to be a character in the game because, well, it looks rad. It probably does its shopping at Zoomies and Journeys at the mall and stands out among its boring classmates at school. But everyone says the Inkling is at the top of the tier list, even according to some of the best Smash players around, such as Zero and Luffin. And they also say it's OP or overpowered. Basically, this means the character is too strong to be a fair player, and using it gives you unfair advantages. And I've seen the proof. This fucker comes at you with the paint roller, and it might as well be a grave you're buried in now. And you can't escape unless you smash buttons as fast as Keemstar runs. So fuck the inkling. Number three, the intro song. I mean, this song isn't that bad. It's, it's okay. But doesn't it sound a little weak? This is Super Smash Bros ultimate. This is a fighting ring filled with over 70 reckless, powerful, supernatural beings fighting to no end. This is war. In the beginning of the most action-packed game in the series yet, sounds like an anime opening or something they'd play in an old-school Disney movie. Smash 4's opening was mild. Smash 64 had a great song. And at the end, where he screams the name of the game, you really fall into the state of mind. This is serious.
Melee song is badass. And they kept the screaming thing at the end too, which was the right thing to do. <laughs> Brawl? Brawl's intro was the best one. And if you listen to it right after hearing the new one for Ultimate, you'll know I only speak facts. Here we go. I tell you what, buddy, it just don't get better than this. Number two, Kirby is lowest on the tier list. Some professional players say Kirby is the bottom boy, others say Little Mac, and still others say Bowser Jr. I think all three of these characters don't deserve to be here because they're cool, especially when compared to some of the other ones. But Kirby? That's too far, Nintendo. Just had to nerf him again. In the world of light, he's the only one who survives in the beginning. He's one of my mains, too. And every single Smash game, except the oldest one, has him near the bottom of the fucking tier list. It seems like he keeps dropping more and more with every game and tries to dig himself out of the darkness but can't. Join me. The waters are calm in the void, he whispers. At least I'll catch everyone off guard when I kick asses in tournaments with Kirby and rise to beat Zero and Hungry Box. I'm just kidding, I suck. Number one, the online mode. Like I said earlier, this one burns. Like gonorrhea. So I got amazing news. Um, I think I might have AIDS. Like, this is fucking crazy, bro. I've been waiting for this day my whole entire life. And I know it isn't just me who thinks this, because the internet right now is saturated with people complaining about it. So let me just add myself to the mass. The online mode for this game brought pain into my life in several ways. First of all, it lags, like Gary did in that SpongeBob episode where he had to run the race. Secondly, and this is the worst First part, when you enter in rules for quick play, it fucks something up half the time. I like having normal 1v1 matches on flat stages, but half the time I get into battles, I'm greeted with a shitty battlefield with annoying platforms that only losers use in order to escape from you instead of having the guts to make it a test of actual skill. Moving stages are even worse. Who the fuck wants to play on one of these? Only casuals. When I get one of these stupid stages, I don't even know what's going on, so I'll probably lose and my GSP will drop like a little boy's balls because of nothing but a shitty casual stage. I hate items too. Fuck items. If you like using items, you'd probably use a raw chicken as a fleshlight and enjoy it. The items I hate the most are the fucking Smash Ball, which is absolutely cheating and doesn't show you have skill whatsoever. And even worse, this thing. Fuck this thing. It gives you an extra stock, which might be the most retarded thing in the whole game. I hate moving stages and items, and I hate casuals who think they're expert Smash players, even though they use these things to raise their GSP. I know Nintendo wants to cater to the casual players who suck ass, but it's unfair and it blows, like grass cutters on a fall afternoon. When we enter rules, we want the battle to fit the rules. When items and moving stages show up, up, it's absolute bullshit. We wanted competitive matches. 
Not this brainless item rape. Why the fuck couldn't Ultimate have the same online layout as Smash 4? They easily separated casual for fun mode from the competitive for glory side. It would be that simple, but it didn't happen. So we're stuck with this shitty online mode that ruined my life. I need to go listen to SpongeBob and the Beach Band again before I wrap my neck around a noose. This band saved my life before, they can do it again. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you hit that like button, dropped a comment, or subscribed because my biggest goal is to become well known on this website and every contribution you make brings me one step closer. More videos like this will be posted along with tons of other shit, so subscribe and join the Carbon Nation today. Unbuckle your seatbelt because the trip has come to a close, but with that all being said, I'll see you on the next one. My, my leather jacket thriller, the show ain't nothing iller. Man, I'm a lady killer. If I want her, I'm a stiller. I promise I could make her fly away like caterpillars. So if you don't know by now, then you should probably get familiar. So, so, so if you don't